Hello, Life After. This is Tron. <laughs> Obviously, nobody in their right mind would go fishing in this weather. This is pretty realistic. I spent uh, over a decade of my life working on, on the water, on ships, and this is pretty realistic for um, a video game. Obviously, the, the sea's not always this angry. It doesn't always look like this. You know, this is an extreme time and not a time where you'd be outside, but it's really gives a good um, illustration of how well the water map was created and how realistic it is. Uh, you look at the different tones, the different colors. You know, they always say that the, the ocean or the water, is, it has moods. And uh, there's a couple different moods. You know, on a calm day, it's beautiful. Um, but you can go fishing on the ocean. Um, the, the reason for this series of videos is because when this game or this addition, this update was added to the game, um, there was a lot of players that had gone, myself included, and endured a lot of durability loss. And they said, that's it. No, I don't want, they just, they just don't go. But I think it's a mistake. And once you understand how the water map works, there are some benefits here that um, cover one side of the game that you can't get from the land. There are certain upgrades and attributes. I may be rotating from one day to the other, uh, doing land, water, land, water. However, um, this part of it's important though. The exploration is just as important as the new world map was uh, for acquiring shards and for upgrade materials for your attachments. Um, look at this. This is a very rare moment in the waterboard. Every once in a while, you will catch something. You'll see some sea life. You'll observe it, and it's just random. Very rare, but I, I got lucky to catch it on video when it happened. Okay, so I'm gonna take a couple of counts through here and basically break it down into three different parts. The very first part of um, the sea map exploration look at that that is cool no it looks like um, a beacon going shooting towards the sky but it's actually the water bloating out blowing out of his blowhole so um, anyway there there's three different parts to major parts to um, the water map and one of them is you can't see any of the treasure you can't see any, if you, by viewing the map, you cannot see any of, let's see, look right here, right here. All these green dots, okay? All of those green dots and, and the blue indicators as well are different um, items on this map. The green clams are treasure chests. And you can't see any of these. They're all hidden. They're all locked away. And the way that you unlock them is by doing the exploration to touch these beacons. You have to scan them. Once you scan a beacon, it will unlock or make visible all of the treasure chests, all of the adventures, and um, all of the random quests. You know, that this is what the random quest is. Uh, probably the reason that most people stop playing um, the first thing to know is the west side of the map is for low level characters um, and it, if you look at the map itself you'll see numbers for salvaging and they're watermarked onto the map on the left side it starts at one and then it works its way up the seven on the east side of the map. The east side of the map is for higher level characters. You know, characters that are um, combat 100 or higher. You know, and obviously they keep, we keep adding levels, so it, it, it's going to get easier and easier to do the east side of the map. But you can do it safely. Um, you need to think of the map in terms of Levin. If you think of Levin City, how you can teleport from one station to another station. It's a very dangerous place to be. The water map is not any more or any less dangerous 
than Levin City. And you can teleport from one area to the next. This right here is a really good setup. Um, I'm gonna deconstruct my manor. I put everything in fast motion. That took four hours worth of footage and I consolidated it down to 15 minutes. <laughs> Basically the stuff that you need to see and uh, put everything in high speed that's kind of menial. I mean, you just you gotta get the idea to see what you need to do in order to protect yourself. What right now I'm building structures, a simple structure, you can do it with any manor level account. Um, I just did this again, repeated the process with my manor three. Um, the, the chairs that you see there, two of them come with your ship. Um, and I'm hanging them off the end. What it is, is my escape. If, if I happen to be on the main deck, whenever a random event occurs and my ship's under attack, there'll be waves of zombies coming. Well, if you're on that main deck, when they come, you're not gonna survive. You know, it, it depends on where you're at. If you're on the, on the um, west side of the board with the low level creatures, it's, it's not so bad. Um, Pretty much anybody can survive it but if you're on the east end of the map with the higher salvage levels and the higher level characters uh my characters my largest one is is got a, a respectable level and is pretty well op within his range within his tier and i will just get completely decimated but you can do this just like with the land exploration we figured out how to do it with a zero dir loss. Um, I can go in with a brand new account that's um, Manor 3. I never tried it below that, but Manor 3 above, and I can survive all the land maps, and I've done complete exploration 100% with a low level account with a Manor 3. The same thing can be done here um, on the water map, but there's a couple of things you need. Um, it, it would be very difficult for Revenant, Revenants to do it because they do not have a diffuser. Um, you want a diffuser and you want, uh, you gotta have ta tactical gear is really kind of important. And tactical gear doesn't become available until Manor 8, I believe. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I know that, uh, that my combat uh, and my player in the Far Star 30s don't have it, um, but my account in the 50s does so somewhere in that range i can't remember off the top of my head but if you have tactical gear uh, even a low level account and you have a diffuser set up with um toxin then you can pretty much kill anything that would board the vessel uh, without enduring any dura loss then you see where, I, where i'm sitting at at that height above the ship um, at, at least to this point, I have not experienced the zombies being able to damage the structures that you put in place. So when you build a house on the ship, um, I have not experienced them damaging it. You know, they can they can hit you through walls. Some of their damages, their plasm or whatever it is that they spew, can radiate through walls. And if you're standing on top of uh, the canopy above the, the pilot house, they can damage you through it to some degree. It's 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 buffered quite a bit, but you you will take damage. Um, but from this position where I'm sitting, if there's not a creature that can uh, that could board the vessel, they can cause you damage from where you're standing. And from from where I'm at at this point, uh, if you got a halfway decent aim, uh, I, you'll notice that when I do fight, I drop the deck often. Um, and I'm careful where I stand at. But through this entire exploration, um, I did have to replace a diffuser. <laughs> and your tactical gear, gear doesn't take uh, door loss. Um, so right now, w what I'm doing is I'm traveling on the map, if you watch. Um, I'm setting a course to a beacon. And then I sit back in the chair. So here we go. Bam, I got my course set. I didn't go all the way. So there we go at the beacon. This is how you unlock what you can't see on the map. 
it happens. The, some, some reason the GPS doesn't work real good. You'll go ahead and set it and either say an obstacle could stop you, it confuses the GPS, and so you have to turn it off and then reset it. This is it. You can unlock this entire map in about four hours, maybe less. Um, there was a learning curve just trying to put together the system. I'll be able to do it faster on my next account when I do it. Right there, bam. That already set it. Okay, here, got a scan. I can't see the scan option. Sometimes you gotta get out of your chair to go see if that scan, bam. Okay. Um, so, so anyway, I'm gonna scan it. And then I'll set another location, bam, there we go. Location set. Yeah, I think that's probably the best from where I, it's a long distance. Sometimes if you're in a different, because the map is divided, you can't see it. It's as if divided into different seas. So if you set your GPS to a location that's in another sea, um, a lot of times it will let you go but then it gets stuck right at the border to the sea. And then you have to reinitiate the GPS. But you also have, sometimes you try to set your GPS and the distance is too great and crossing too many seas, it just will not set. You'll have to manually drive towards it before you can get the navigation to pick it up. I have the head conversation with the devs to let them know the problems with the GPS. Hopefully that gets corrected. Um, but for now, that there, it's a minor nuisance, but that's not going to deter me from playing this map. But I mean, you can literally do most of this from the chair without even getting up. And a lot of these beacons, you can scan it from the chair. So you don't even, you just go from one to the next and do every single one that appears. You can do this in a day. I mean, within a couple hours, once you know how to do it. Um, you have to finish your daily quest because it won't let you advance on the beacons. Um, so you do it so you finish your daily quest uh, Whether you do it on a sea map or you you know, you do it on another map and then and then come here It's probably better to do it you do your dailies on the land. Let's see right here. I'm not gonna take any damage whatsoever That's, a, that's what you do to kill it your, your tactical gear does there's no dura loss on tactical gear You will lose nothing What you are losing is dura because it's, a, it's kind of a tough map and especially when you're in the higher areas the higher difficulty areas if you throw a diffuser your dura loss is higher in those areas so you you're going to end up replacing your diffuser don't use one of the expensive ones i did that with tron and i broke it <laughs> so you're going to end up replacing a diffuser <clears throat> with the with the lower level diffuser it's cheap there's not really any cost involved um obviously the, the upgraded uh, diffuser the materials are more expensive um and they're meant to last a lot longer but i mean you, you could literally take your your gear off or just use junk gear for doing this you know i'm not actually fighting the creatures i'm just throwing it and you got to be careful because some of the missions um dictate that you board another vessel uh when you when you do that sometimes if your vessel is touching that vessel they can board your ship as well so just be aware of that but there's places that you can stand on the boat and they can't touch you or they, they won't they won't acknowledge you they won't even know you're there so but if you throw attack gear obviously they're going to run to it you know so that's why i try to keep them towards the front of the ship that doesn't always work you'll see one of the creatures is going to come and jump into my zone into my area where they could potentially hit me from where i'm standing they can throw plasma from underneath and you know it'll cause damage um, obviously if it's the higher the level of creature it is versus what your level is um you wouldn't see he jumped right through it he jumped right through into the pilot house and luckily he can't see me because i'm right under him I'm not, i haven't moved my as soon as i move my feet he might be able to indicate or pick up that i'm there i'm gonna go sense me bam here we go we're gonna throw diffuser throw attack gear i literally didn't get hit this entire battle there you have it survivors this is how you do map exploration on the water map do the map it's worth it